In this video, we provide the solution to question number one for the practice final exam for Math 1050, in which case we're asked to compute the average rate of change of the function f of x equals x minus 3 squared on the interval 1 to 3. So to remember with average rate of change, your delta y over delta x always has the formula where we're going to take f of 3 in this case, because that's the second endpoint there, minus f of 1, that's the first endpoint, and then you're going to divide that by 3 minus 1, like so. The denominator is easy enough, you're just going to get a 2. Um, in the numerator, we do have to use the function formula right here. Notice that if you take 3 minus 3 squared, that's going to give you a 0. If you put in a 1, 1 minus 3 is a negative 2. When you square that, you're going to get a positive 4. So you end up with 0 minus 4 over 2. That simplifies to be negative 4 over 2, or better yet, it becomes negative 2. And so we see that the correct answer is choice C. The average rate of change is negative 2.